Good morning. Welcome to another episode. Basically, making the most out of a good high tide in the estuary system. So, just got a medium light tapper set up with a Holt prawn on a quarter ounce jig head. We're just gonna try to flick for dew. Still keeping it light, so might catch a flatty or something. But yeah, main target is dew on on the light tackle so I'm not expecting it but we're making the most out of a high tide that's the uh, that's the whole point today so it's like a one it's coming up to 1.9 meters it's probably at probably at around 1.7 meters so another hour another hour and a half until we hits full high and yeah see if we can get a Jew a Jew in the estuary so don't have high hopes I never do when I'm going for Jew but hopefully we can make it happen anyways these on the water, eh? Yeah, so as I said, I'm trying to target some dew. I don't really target dew, but uh, it is a real nice tide today. So I'm just uh, just in the local. I'm not expecting one, but there could definitely be one coming through. And if there's one coming through, we are in luck. And if not, we can still have a chance of catching a nice flatty or even brim and whiting. Or whatever but I'm just trying to find that bend there's a, there's a sort of there's a few spots I'm walking past now that I can flick but there's a little little bend in the water and I might fish that point a bit of top water activity already there's a few guys on the boat today actually hardly see many people in this system fishing but it's good to see hey really good to see that there are a few people around fishing today hopefully we, we're all catching fish that's the main that's the main thing isn't it hopefully we can all catch fish I have fished this system just never fished this bend but it looks like a good bend so as you can see the tide's still coming in which is good hence why I got the quarter ounce and like I said real nice tide today there is a guy on the kayak there, so he's probably sounded some fish there for sure. 100% I reckon he's sounded some fish, I reckon. Okay, look, a few fish already. Look at that, another another fish dying. That's a second fish that's dead, man. What's wrong with this system? So I sent a brim that was dying, or dead, and there's another one right there. I don't think that's a brim, that one. I think that's a mullet that's been attacked. That is hilarious, man. What's going on? That mullet is struggling to swim. I'm pretty sure that's a mullet. Could be wrong. Could be a mangrove jack or a barra, but uh, pretty sure that's a dead mullet or about to shit itself mullet. I wonder what hit it. Jew. All right, so we've used the whole prawn and the samaki, both awesome lures, but uh, not providing us with a, a bite or a fish today. So I'm not saying they don't work. Everyone knows samakis and holts work, but we've got to switch things up. So we just run a Keytech Easy Shiner, three inch. They might like the smaller profile here. The only problem with these Keytechs, I'll be honest with you, that tail is so, so fine that once a fish hits it, it's basically just gone. And you just need to switch up to a new plastic. And they aren't cheap, so they do work. They get hits. But uh, once once a small fish or just any sort of fish hits that tail, or even just the whole plastic, if you get a nice hit on it, it's, uh, it's basically just it's gone. Any luck? How deep is it here? Four meters? Just a few hits, that's about it. Yeah. Yeah, you need a bit of wind, eh? It's too calm. Yeah, man. A lot of mullet around. What are you going for? 
What are you going for? Are you going for brim? Yeah. Thanks, man. You too. So yeah, three meters. Gotta love a good kayaker. Gives you the uh, depth reading when you're fishing the spot. So you know. Now if I come back here, I'll know it's three meters. On a on a high. Oh yeah, got one. He's a flathead and he just came off. Okay. How's the plastic looking? Not looking too shabby. I'm just gonna go, I'm gonna twitch a bit higher now. Just like that. Just move it around a bit more instead of those short twitches. So still twitching but slightly higher. Get that plastic off the bottom and just let it drop. Yeah, there you go. A hit on the drop after that high twitch. Gets me thinking, eh? Hey? Yeah, yeah. Got him. Got him. Oh, he's a good fish, man. Oh, that's a good fish. That's not a small fish. It worked. It's a good flatty, eh? It's actually, it is actually a perch. Oh, it's a little soapy. It worked. It's a little soapy, guys. That high twitch worked. There we go. I mean, like, I'm happy about it, but he's small. <sighs> Guess what? We found. We found what we were looking for. But he's a small guy. <sighs> yes. Not big at all. Not big at all. But that is a lovely fish. That is a lovely fish. There we have it. We found <laughs> we found one, but he's not big. But anyways, still a still a soapy. Little soapy. Taking that key tech three inch on the one four jig head. So I was actually just saying those high twitches might do the job and he definitely did but he's not big at all. But it's still a mulloway, target species. Little baby. It's good to see that they are in the system and hopefully some bigger ones arise. But yeah, great sign. Let's put him back in. So target species on I thought it was a perch for a second. But, yeah man, like, that's what I was looking for, and we found him, so it's good that we managed to find our target species, oh, there you go, he's gone, just jumped out of my hand, he's gone the wrong way, but we'll come around, let's get some air in him, it's gone, nice, Target species. That's my second jewel on plastics, but yeah, little guy. Not gonna make too much noise about it. Yeah, sweet. Done it. 